What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with yet again another perfume experience and for today continuing with the Amouage theme I have none other than Jubilation XXV which if if, if you know your uh, <laughs> your uh, Roman numerals please let me know in the comments what XXV stands for. I probably can Google it, but I'm too lazy. Okay, so what we will be doing today, as per usual on this channel, if you've been following me for a while, is we will go through the description off of the website, as well as the notes, and then I will go through a perfume experience with you guys. But before we get started, and also as per tradition on this channel, make sure to grab your favorite snack, your favorite bevy, or as in my case, cafe, which is boiling hot, so I will not be sipping off of it just yet. And sit back and relax and enjoy the awesomeness coming your way. All right. So I'm Watch Jubilation XXV. All right. So this is the description they have. The coronation of oud and incense. An avalanche of ripe fruits of dynamic orange, sweet divana and aldehydic coriander, bearing the scent of freshly squeezed mandarin, awaken and soften a solemn accord of cystus and frankincense. An impetuous bouquet, cinnamon, clove and bay St. Thomas Kindle a languid rose soaked in honey, while a sensitive orchid spreads a suave fragrance over austere columns of smoked gayak wood. A rare immortelle basked in the licorice worms of myrrh and opop <laughs> opoponax soothes a treasure trove of musk, oud, and atlas cedar wood which together reveal the hidden sensuality of tree moth and patchouli infused with the salty tobacco notes of Omani ambergris. Deep, lavish, and sparing no expense, Jubilation XXV celebrates the nobility of a masculinity that embraces the full beauty of the East and the West. Okay, so this is for the description, you guys. And with respect to the notes, so in the top notes, we have labdanith, cyst, coriander, orange, divana, frankincense, and blackberry. In the heart notes, there's honey, bay, cinnamon, orchid, rose, clove, celery seeds, and gayak wood. And in the base notes, there is patchouli, Op Oponax, <laughs> this one is so funny to pronounce, Mirror, Atlas, Cedarwood, Musk, Moth, Ambergris, Oudwood, and Immortelle. Now I will tell you right now, this is, I mean, it's going to be very, 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 very difficult to pick on the notes, you guys, just because of there's so much going on in there. And my, my memory serves me correctly, this is super well blended, this is going to be tough to pick on the notes but nonetheless we will give it a try but before we get started i'll try to take a sip of my piping hot coffee oh yeah that is rocket fuel okay i don't know why i'm whispering today i think not low energy I'm actually very high energy but for some reason just content I guess you know you have those moments where you feel comfortable relaxed content happy in the moment probably today is one of those days probably okay let's get started god my eyes are itching so bad okay Let's get started with the perfume experience. Okay, so we have a Jubilation XXV. We're 
gonna do a spray. Okay. Very generous spray. Let's see if I can show you guys without killing my plant. So right here is the spray print. And right off of the bat, I'll tell you right now, this has quite a bit of essential oils in it because it does have a greasy sort of um, profile to it. But my skin is eating it up so quickly as it is already that, yeah, I don't think it really matters that much. While the liquid is lightish, yellowish in the bottle as you spray it, it's pretty clear. So I wouldn't worry too much about whites uh, being stained when putting this on. But this definitely does have quite a bit of oils in it uh, because it does have this greasy aspect to it um, just over here. Okay. I'm back to you guys. So. God, I forget always that I put the cardamom in there and it comes while I sip. But anyways. Oh yeah, this smells like money. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, this is full bottle worthy. You could stop watching the video now if you'd like. Wow. Oh man, this is good. Man, this is the kind of man I want to smell like. <laughs> it's quite amazing how well they've captured the note of a smoked oud or like an oud just sitting on an oud burner on slow heat, just bubbling and the oil just radiating the smoke of the oud. It's so, so well done here. There's so much going on here, you guys. This is oody. It is um, smoky. It is spicy. It is green. It is floral. It is fruity. It is just sugary, sweet. This is so delicious and opulent. And my God. This is the stuff that's, oh my God, this is, it's making me salivate. I don't know why, but this is some good stuff, you guys. <sighs> wow. Now the only thing, and I'll get into this shortly, is that my skin is eating it so fast <laughs> that it's taking more and more effort to smell this. Wow, this is, this is some opulent stuff, you guys, okay? This is like a king, emperor, chic, sort of a worthy kind of a scent, all right? So, what I'll do is I'll attempt my best to go through the notes with you guys. It's gonna be difficult because it's so well blended, but I can tell right now. So labdanum, I can pick on coriander, I'm not too sure. Orange. Yes, it does have an orangish um, citrusy hue to it. Devana, no idea what that smells like. Frankincense and blackberry, definitely you can smell both. You can smell the blackberry and the frankincense. Honey, so now we're in the heart notes. Honey, you can definitely smell. Bay. I can see that. I can see bay leaves. Cinnamon, yes. Orchid, I have no idea what orchids smell like. Rose, clove, and clove. This one is a bit tough. I can see the clove, the rose, I'm not too sure. Celery seeds and guyac wood. Celery seeds, I can see. Gaiac wood I can see, and you know what? On a second sniff, I can pick now on the coriander also is in there. Now, with respect to base notes, patchouli is in there. Opoponax, I have no idea what that smells like. Mirror is in there. 
Atlas Cedar was is in there. Uh, musk is in there. Moss I pick on Embergry. Yeah, it is there. Oudwood is there for sure. Immortelle, I have no idea what that smells like. Okay, so this has so much going on, you guys, there, and it's just this is so, so, so nice, all right? It's just, I wanna lick my arm kind of nice, okay? This is just, wow, is all I can say, all right? Um, okay, let's get into sort of the facts, the stats, from my perspective, and as I experience this with you guys now, performance, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's about a medium, maybe even a notch under a medium in terms of projection, trail, and silage. I literally, right now, my skin completely ate it up. I can barely smell it anymore. I really have to put effort to smell it. And the only thing I pick on are sort of the sweeter facets that are left over. So that's gonna be more of the blackberry, the orange, maybe some of, uh, more of the floral, fruity florals in here. I do pick on the musk, okay? But everything else is just more or less gone. Even there's a slight hit of incense, but my skin, and that was not a small like spray. It was pretty generous once I applied it, but my skin ate it up so fast that I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? Actually, medium or even a notch under medium might also be a bit misleading for me i'm gonna go ahead and say low performance wise projection is pretty low because the projection is low the trail and sludge are gonna be low also this is a for me is a very weak skin scent so there's something to keep in mind it is, smells fantastic it is gorgeous it is opulent i would like to bathe in it but <laughs> it has you know zero to low performance it's just It's just, yeah, it's a skin scent at this point, and it's like um, like a weak skin scent too, right? So if you had somebody come close to your skin to smell it, they really have to put effort into it. And it's just, yeah, I mean, it's, it's such a shame because it's such a gorgeous scent, and it's a bottle, full bottle worthy scent, but with that performance, at least for me and my skin chemistry, probably not. I'll, you know, it's, yeah, it's it's frustrating that um, <laughs> I was about to pull the trigger on a full bottle right after this, but it's just, yeah, performance is weak, you guys. Uh, pretty low in terms of performance. So pro projection trail and so is weak. With respect to seasonality, Given the profile of everything that's going on in here, I would have initially said it's winter worthy scent to do fall and winter because of, uh, I mean, it's a cold weather worthy scent to do fall and winter. But with the profile of this and given how delicate it is and how it's performed so far, I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey, you're gonna actually wear this in spring okay i don't want to say summer because the heat will kill this okay but spring for me would be perfect for this scent it's not too overbearing okay in terms of the oils and the woods and the musk and the incenses okay and it's not overbearing on the sort of green floral fruity aspect either this scent is delicate enough for it to survive in spring but I'd say uh, extreme temperatures during summer or the winter would completely kill it off. You wouldn't be able to smell it going off of my skin, okay? Now, with respect to how you would dress this, listen, this scent, regardless of how it performs, is to die for. It is opulent, it is majestic, it is regal, it has this air of refinement to it sort of an old money vibe but without the dustiness and the powderiness that comes with age i guess 
it's just so so nice you guys it's it's hard to put into word how majestic it is okay like this scent is what a leader would wear what a country's ruler would wear okay i can easily see this as being a signature scent for some of the uh, members of royal families for example across the middle east or some of the asian countries okay this is just this is so so opulent and regal i cannot stop saying that enough so with that said you need to dress this formally okay as a matter of fact the more formal the better so for the gentleman um you know you need a three-piece suit a nice bespoke shoes a nice tie a nice pin a nice overcoat okay your hair has to be on point your glasses have to or your sunglasses have to be on point um, your watch has to be on point everything has to be perfect everything has to be formal everything has to present itself in an air of nonchalance but also an air of sort of opulence and luxury and greatness and being at ease and somebody that's just unrushed and accomplished and just has everything come to them sort of a way okay so keep that in mind as you dress the scent that is what you are conveying with this scent now with respect to the gender spectrum listen this is straight up masculine okay this is for the gentleman it's marketed for the men and it is 100% a masculine scent that is suitable for men of distinctiveness okay so if you see yourself as an accomplished distinct one percenter if you wish this is your scent all right so masculine scent for the gentleman out there now with respect to context where you would wear this or what sort of environment okay listen do yourself a favor don't take this to work it's such a waste in a work environment okay this is when you are going somewhere that is super opulent okay so if you're traveling and you're staying let's say in dubai in burj al arab or some really nice opulent hotel that has 24 karat goals running across it this is if you're going to a very nice opulent exclusive resort basically where this is settings that are opulent or settings that have excess in them okay that's the kind of scent you would wear to a setting or a context or an environment that has excess all right it's a bit tough to get into <laughs> what kind of environments these are because I'm just using my imagination here I haven't been personally but I'd imagine <laughs> that uh, environments of excess this is the kind of scent you want to put on I know I would put that scent on if I go to an environment or a place like that okay so think of environments and context of excess is where you would wear this okay now with that said would I recommend jubilation xxv by amouage so this is probably the first time on my channel that i'm gonna give two recommendations for one cent so the first recommendation is yes 100 percent get your nose on it get your wallet on it cop it because of the scent profile because of the opulence okay the good news is you can get it uh, in different sizes and as a sample Okay. my second recommendation would be get this only if you are interested in a skin scent okay this scent even though it's very opulent and fantastic it's not gonna be a scent that you can use to show off or attract attention or get compliments not because it can do that it's very capable of that but only because its performance is weak so be cognizant of getting this if you want to fish for compliments all right it's probably gonna only be a scent that only you can smell for your personal enjoyment so while i 100 percent recommend this as a blind buy okay 
just make sure that performance isn't an issue for you because you will still enjoy it. I know that for those of you out there that are really into your perfumes, you're not gonna care. You're gonna get it regardless of performance and you're just gonna enjoy the scent for the sake of enjoying the scent, okay? But for those of you that are very particular about what they pick up and they wanna get the most bang for their buck, this most likely will not be for you. But if you still wanna experience it, make sure to get a sampler, try it out first, just because, yeah, the performance is lackluster on this one, uh, if I'm being very transparent. And again, this is subjective and anecdotal when I say that performance is lackluster. I'm going off of my skin chemistry. Now, that might be different for you. Nonetheless, make sure to test it out first before you commit to a full bottle. And uh, otherwise, yeah, nothing bad to say about this. It smells delightful, you guys. It is heavenly. I mean, yeah, the just scent profile wise is so, so good. I mean, the level of opulence and the master craftsmanship in the blending of all these different notes, fantastically done, okay? It's just I wish the performance on this was a bit stronger for my skin, uh, but otherwise, nothing bad to say about this. It's fantastic composition. All right. So you guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. And as per usual, very much appreciate your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.